Hello, this is Michael Tiller, M. Tiller 2006 here, and I'm going to be going through um, the beginner course, the beginner pattern of the Night League with the Blue Falcon here, starting at Butte City 1. Now, F0, basically, this is the Super Nintendo version, other than the Nintendo 64 version, which came out at a later time, basically. Um, you can see the computer graphics here on the Super Nintendo, they really did outdid themselves. The Blue Falcon, driven by Captain Falcon, the... Um, that yellow vehicle, whatever it was, driven by Dr. Stewart, the Golden Fox, no, I just remember, the Wild Goose, driven by, by Pico, <laughs> and the Fire Stingray, driven by Samurai Gora. Now, I actually played this on computer, and I did this with the keyboard, and as you can see in the entire series that I'm doing here, that it's not as easy as it looks. You know, I just got a speed booster, and they're right there on Mute City 1. You go through the entire five laps, and you gotta try and beat the clock and stay ahead of the entire league. And here I'm going to use my speed right there. And why did I miss the ramp? Now the speed would be pretty good through the dirt paths right here because even though the dirt paths actually slow you down a bit, the speed can actually get you through. Now I like to slow down without using the brakes around that turn because it makes the turns more efficient. Here we got three laps to go and I just got the speed back. You can, you can actually be given up to three speeds here. Now you folks could be asking, why did I not choose the expert leap? Otherwise the, uh, the hard part to make the cars more tougher. Well, because this is the computer version, and even though I'm better on Super Nintendo, I decided to do it on computer to give myself a challenge. Oh, darn, I hate it when I knock into those cars. There's other cars out there that you can smash into, though they will slow you down as well, but some of them that can actually explode. M much like that car up ahead, if you actually um, touch it, you really don't want to do that. Trust me, you really don't want to do that. I seem to be going pretty much easier along these paths. I hate it when I get into those walls. Yeah, I like to take bite on that ramp. And you can see in future courses that I'll, that I'll basically be doing, that will, um, that big, that big flying can actually come in handy on future courses. Here I'm going to recharge here a little bit, because the more power you have, the faster you'll go. Because if you lose power, you'll slow down, but the more you lose power, the more chance you'll be able to explode, because if that power bar actually goes to empty, you're dead meat. Whoa! Oh, almost lost control there. Now the keyboard is actually harder than a controller on the Super Nintendo, just to let you all know. That obviously will be seen in play later on in the series. Don't worry about that. Alright! First place! Woohoo! Alright. We get 900 points, basically, for crossing the line. And I need to do the math correctly on the other one, basically. I only got the best lap, not the best time. Here we go to Big Blue. This is the only course that it is, even though you can see others, basically. And I got a big booster right there. Good stuff. But then the other cars go right there in front of you. Oh, right, excuse me, Pico. By the way, he's an illegal alien. What is he doing here in America, huh? Okay. Well, maybe, maybe he'll, be, maybe he'll become a naturalized citizen. But you never. Oh, darn it! Oh, sorry, Doctor Stewart. I don't know exactly what happened there. Okay, I know what happened. I lost control in the. Um Whoa! Whoa! Oh boy. I hate it when I do that. I really hate it when I do that. Okay. I don't know exactly what that blue thing right there is for. Maybe it's a magnetic field of some sort. Maybe we'll learn, maybe we'll learn it even later. Okay, we're gonna recharge some here. You can see I didn't go all the way up. We only got four laps to go. I got a lot of time here. Oh, sorry again, Dr. Stewart. Okay, I'm gonna use a speed booster right here. That'll help. Ah! Okay, that won't help right there because I knocked into the car and the walls. Not a good idea to run into the walls because you'll lose power with those. I like to take it easy on that turn right there, which which is pretty efficient. You'll want to stay on the right side of the blue field right there. Okay, with three laps to go, I'm going to go ahead and recharge a little more. Okay, now I'm fully charged. I'm going to go ahead and keep on going, as you basically would do. And I'm going to use the speed. I, I, I like to use the speed here, because with those dirt pads right there, you'll just zip on through in case you miss it. Uh-oh, we, we got a low power car up ahead. I easily missed it, and easily went around that turn. Good going right there. Okay, let's see. I lost a little power back there, so I'm going to go ahead and recharge a little bit right here with two laps to go. I seem to be being in pretty good form. Remember, this is just the beginner course, and, you might, and remember what I said back at Youth City. Basically, because I'm a starter here on the keyboard, I want to try and get a little more practice before I get into a little more difficulty with the cars. Okay, well... 
easy back on that turn. Okay, that wasn't as easy as I hoped it would be. But you know, what am I to say? I'm a beginner with the keyboard. Uh-oh, not another flashing car. Well, you'll see plenty of those throughout the game, trust me. But it's only in the Grand Prix mode. The time trial version, you'll only be yourself or if you face a rival, basically. Okay, I think I was at full power when I went into the pit. Okay, so I got out there quickly. I'm use the speed here again. And, um... That's basically how it all goes. Oh! Don't I hate it. I hate that. I truly hate that. Okay. Well, it's okay. I'm still in first place. Lost a little control, but I quickly gained it back. And so, that does it for Big Blue. Okay, 94,000. All right, 10,000, basically. You go over 10,000, then every 10,000 increments, you go ahead and win another vehicle. That gives you an extra chance in case you explode or lose power or anything like that. Now this is the sand ocean. This is the sand ocean. Oh, and um, because there's no sound during recording, I I lose track. Sorry, Samurai Barack. Ah, hi, go. Where's the police? He did that. <coughs> All right. So now I'm gonna try and get control back here. Now these are some pretty tight circular turns. At least they're not spiral. But really, the F-Zero people really did outdo themselves. They really did well with the graphics and everything like that, basically. Another point that I want to go through right here is that you have safe positions. And every time you make another lap right there, the number goes down. Now, the safest position would be 15, so the limit you would have is 15. So now it goes down to 10, meaning that the, highest po that the least position you can go to is 10. So you gotta try and stay in the top positions as much as you can. So... That's the point of the Grand Prix, so it gives you a little extra incentive challenge right there. Okay, I'm going to use the speed here. It's, it's really good to use the speed beforehand because then you'll lose control at the turns, right, like right here, basically. Because this is a strong circular turn, a 270 degree turn, if I see it correctly, it might be 180. I didn't flunk math, but I need to try and look at that math quickly. Like, Ow, oh, I hate it when I went into that ball. Okay, I'm going to recharge right there. And with three laps to go, now the, now the least position you can go to is seven. Oh, darn it. Ah! Losing control here. Oh. See, it's not as easy as it looks. The game is not as easy as it looks when you're on the keyboard. It's easier when you're on the controller, but not when you're on the keyboard. Oh, I hate it when I lose that power. Okay, I lost a lot of power right there. Oh, man, I hate it when I run into those cars. At least that one's not flashing, because if it was a low-power vehicle like the big flashing ones, then you'd be in big trouble. Okay, I lost some major positions. Well, I didn't lose that many major positions, but Piker's still behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and recharge with two laps to go. The safest position you can go to now is five. That's the least position you can go to. That's what I mean. Okay, so, continuing on the sand ocean here. I've got 14,300 points. With my position as the, um, as the least favorable position. So, um, now I'll let you all know, if you're in second position when you make another lap, then you're in 600 points. Can't remember the others. Oh, but that dumb card gave me ping pong. I slipped past here. And this is going to be a little tight one, but as you can see, it might not matter. Actually, there's one more lap. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> okay, so, final lap right here. Now, the uh, least favorable position that you can go to is three, so you have to be on the podium position by the time you reach the final lap. That might be the better position. Because the further you are ahead, the more efficient then the game will be. And the more efficient and favorable your position will be on the scoreboard. Well, the scoreboards don't matter, like in the F1 games, like F1 pole position and um, and all those other games, too. Okay, so... Okay, we got a pink flashing car up ahead. Low power one. But I can easily slip past that. And... There we go. First position again. Alright, so... And there goes Pico. Dr. Stewart was passed. Okay. See you all on part number two, folks.